Here, I'm going to show you two simple ways to avoid merged cells. Merged cells can cause all sorts of trouble in Excel, so it's best to avoid them. Here, we have two parts, right here, parts, and manufacturer. Often, merging cells is used just to make your spreadsheet look a little bit better, but it gets in the way of many other things, such as sorting, filtering, and formulas. So, how do we avoid it? Well, first of all, don't merge your cells. Instead, go to the cell on the far left that you would have merged, input the text you want, go to the Home tab, and right here, increase the indent. Click that option as much as you want until it looks how you want. The cells will look merged, but they won't be merged. You can still input values into B if you want to. If you double-click A, you'll see the text you input, and you can edit it as you want. Everything is good, and we have not merged the cells. Just click the cell with the text and indent, and you're good to go. The second way to do it is to input the text in the far left cell, select all the cells that you would have merged, right click, choose, format cells, go to the alignment tab, select horizontal, and go from general to center across selection. Okay, and there you go. We are still free to do whatever we want with B and A. It's just a nicer way, or depending on what you're doing, a nicer way to center everything across the cell. Right click, choose Format Cells, go to the Alignment tab, select Horizontal, and choose Center across selection. Personally, I prefer the indent method. This doesn't always work if one column is much bigger than the other column. But either way, you can either indent the text or center across selection and avoid merged cells. That's all there is for this tutorial. And if you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you can get all of my future tutorials.